discuss about the gross anatomical features of the lungs. Now this is the lungs. These are also known as pulmones and these are located in the thoracic cavity. They are separated by a space known as mediastinum. Now we come to the gross anatomical features. This is the apex which is directed upwards. This is blunt and this is the base which is concave because of the dome of the diaphragm. This is also known as diaphragmatic surface because this surface is resting on the dome of the diaphragm. This is also the inferior surface of the lungs. Then we come to the borders. This is the anterior border. This is sharp. This is the inferior border. This is also a very sharp border. And the posterior border. This is the posterior border which is blunt. It is rounded. Then the surfaces of the lungs. It has three surfaces. First is the costal surface. Here we can see the impressions of the ribs. This is the costal surface. Then this is the medial surface. This medial surface is divided into two parts. Anteriorly we have mediastinal surface and posteriorly this is the vertebral surface because this surface comes in contact with the thoracic vertebrae and the intervertebral disc. So that is why this is the vertebral surface and this is the mediastinal surface because this surface comes in contact with the heart. And this is the diaphragmatic surface or inferior surface resting on the dome of the diaphragm. Then we come to the structures at the root or we can see the hilum of the lungs. This is the only way which is helpful for determination of the side of the lung. We have two lungs. So how will we, how will we uh, determine the side of the lung? By seeing the structures at the hilum. So hilum is the depressed area of the lung which is giving passage for various neurovascular structures which are supplying to your lungs. So in the case of right lung, we have two bronchus. These are the two bronchus. First, this bronchus, this is known as a parterial bronchus. And the lower bronchus, this is the hyparterial bronchus. Okay. So this is the hyparterial and this is the hyparterial bronchus. Then anteriorly we have this pulmonary vein. This structure is your pulmonary vein. And this is the pulmonary artery. Then what is the arrangement of these neurovascular structures at the hilum? In case of right lung, superiorly we have a parterial bronchus, then we have pulmonary artery, then we have hyparterial bronchus, then the pulmonary vein. So above downwards, first is a parterial bronchus, then pulmonary artery, then hyparterial bronchus, and then pulmonary vein. These are the structures from above downwards at the root of right lung. In case of left lung, we have only one bronchus. So uh, this is the bronchus on the left side. From above downwards, the relation is the artery, that is the pulmonary artery, then the bronchus, left-sided bronchus, then this is the pulmonary vein. So on the left side, we have only one bronchus. So in this way, we can easily determine the side of the lung. Then other features of the lungs. On, in case of right side, we usually have two fissures. First, this is the oblique fissure and another one is the horizontal fissure which is absent in case of this lung. On the left side, we have only one fissure that is the oblique fissure. So this is the another feature. Then in case of left lung, at the anterior border, in case of left lung, we have this notch this is known as cardiac notch this is present only in the left lung and this tongue like process which is known as lingula this lingula is present only in case of left lung then the, these lungs these are supplied by the bronchial arteries and pulmonary arteries <coughs> the nerve supply of the lung this is by the phrenic nerve and pulmonary plexus so this is all about the anatomy of the lung thank you